Hm, nicht gut. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal and it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah, and who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Geh Scheißträger an. Cuz I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She could take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Alter, what is denn mit dir los? Bist du hier zu aggro, Junge? Entspann dich mal. Da geht's so nicht. Ich glaube, es hackt bei dir, Junge. Setz dich mal hin und halt die Fresse. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. Wieso denn ich? Hast du doch verbockt. This ain't no way to do business. Oh, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it. You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Eigentlich nicht. Eigentlich nicht, aber ja. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Come show him. Hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. Mm -mm. Lief nicht gut. I'd have punch your nicht. fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. Kein Problem. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Hell, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? Hallöchen. I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Like you're some feral animal. Javier. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now. Let's see about that wound. Wir sollten etwas die Füße stillhalten, würde ich behaupten. Deswegen habe ich jetzt nicht gefragt, ob sie uns hier raushelfen kann. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <lacht> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. I've never understood it. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Flirten kann ich. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and then she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. Richtig. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... 
that there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right, fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trent, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Offensichtlich schon. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. It's too risky, and if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Okay. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Ich würde auch dazu neigen, mit Trip zu fahren, weil er will uns dahin bringen und dann ist gut. Ich glaube nicht, dass er uns abknallen wird. Eleanor, ah, ich weiß nicht, ob das so gut ist, wenn wir hier jetzt Ärger veranstalten. Vor allem für sie, also würde ich sagen, wir fahren morgen früh. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. Danke. <laughs> It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Hurts. I'm sorry. I know it sucks. I'm... I haven't been sleeping well lately. I've noticed. So many people died here. So many ghosts. Sometimes they're all I think about. Especially during the night. Still better than sleeping out in the rain. Yeah, I guess. Hey, look, Goofball. It's you. Alvin Goofball Jr. Can you say Goofball? You know, he does need a middle name. His parents, they never got a chance. You think? Go on. Pick one. Oh, wow. No time like the present. Hmm, Kenny. Uh. How about Lee? He would have loved this little guy. I was just thinking Jamie was pretty cool. For a boy or a girl. Jamie? That was your sister? Yeah. I used to think that if I was ever picking out names, I'd. Anyway, the deal was ink first, then a perimeter sweep. But I just checked it a few days ago. We're on our own here, Clem. And after that asshole family we let in made off with half our food, we can't take any more chances. It won't take long. They seem nice, nice enough. 
Nice people get hungry too. And then suddenly, they're not so nice anymore. So get to it. I want you to be prepared. For anything. I know. I'm gonna go take a little nap. I'm, uh... Not feeling that great. Jane? If you're not feeling well, I can bring you something. schwanger und wieder von einem geliebten Menschen musste wir uns verabschieden. <lacht> 